Welcome to the Dustin Sanchez TV.com lawyer marketing show. Today we're talking about why it's not working. Okay, lawyers, you have to do two things. Two things. One of two things. Or you can do both, but you have to do at least one of them if you are going to survive in this economy. You're going to just survive in this market. You have to do one of two things. Number one, you either have to pretend like you like money, okay? Or number two, you have to pretend like you like being a lawyer and helping people solve their legal problems. If you can't do one of two, those two things, you're going to have a lot of problems surviving today. Now you're saying, Dustin, obviously I like money or obviously I like being a lawyer and helping people. But if I call your office, I pick up my phone and I call your office at 1030 a.m. on a Thursday and your personal cell phone voicemail answers the phone. I'm just going to someone else. Nobody's going to leave a voicemail today. Nobody leaves voicemails. They're just going to go to the next lawyer in the Google search results. Now, I'm going to bring into the screen. All of this sounds obvious. All of this sounds intuitive, but it's not because I guarantee you I can call your office right now and get this same bull jive, right? This same uh, cell phone voice message. Hi, I'm not here. Leave a message. Nope. I'm looking for a law firm. I'm just going to call the next person who their SEO guy put them on page one of the Google search results. <laughs> If you're going to pay me a second mortgage to put you on page one of the Google search results, you better answer your phone and you better know some sales training when you do answer. Or if someone sitting in your office answers the phone, they can't be sitting here scrolling Instagram ticked off because now they actually have to do their job because that energy comes through the phone. And whoever's on the other end is just going to hang up and find someone who knows how to close sales and is also on page one of the Google search results. I wrote an article about this. I keep harping on all of this. And once again, I'm going to point everybody to that article. Let me just bring in screen two here. I'll make myself smaller. Okay. Obviously this is my YouTube channel. You should check it out. Uh, quick, Quick break. If you want to know what's working now in lawyer marketing, you can go to DustinSanchezTV.com slash now. DustinSanchezTV.com slash N-O-W. Download this free ebook. Tells you what's working now in lawyer marketing. One of the things that works, you have to answer the dang phone when people call. Okay. You not only have to answer, but you have to know how to walk someone through a sales process because it's a sales call. That's what all of you don't realize. You think people are just calling you. And they're just saying, here's my credit card. Take my money. That's not how this works. You're a complete stranger because they found you in page one of the Google search results next to 10 other lawyers. And you're going to have to sell yourself to them. Sounds difficult. It's very easy. Let me show you the article. Okay, we're going to go to Dustin. We'll just do a Google search. Dustin Sanchez Law Firm Phone Script. Okay, you can see DustinSanchezTV.com slash phone dash script. I'm going to click on that. Darn it. I'm almost out of coffee. Okay, so what did I do for all of you? I just made it easy. I made it too easy, actually, because it's so easy. Everyone just ignored it. It sounds intuitive, but it's not. Okay, this article, how to convert incoming phone calls into customers. Notice that word convert. Uh, many business owners, many attorneys still believe I'm making this up. You still think somebody calls you and you don't have to convert this complete stranger who only met you three minutes ago on the Google search results. You think you don't have to convert that person into a paying client, okay? You scroll down, this video teaches you how to do two things, two very important things. One, it stops people from price shopping your law firm. Because if you're doing any form of marketing, 
that marketing is introducing you to complete strangers, people who do not know you. And so all they're looking for is the best price. This video and script that I wrote out below it teaches you how to turn this complete stranger into a friend such that price no longer matters. Okay. It stops the whole price shopping process because as soon as you tell them you charge $7,000 for a divorce, they're going to dial the next lawyer in the Google search results and try to find a cheaper divorce. You have to stop them from doing that. This video right here and this phone script below tells you exactly how to stop that. Okay. Number two, it tells you the minimum amount of sales knowledge you need to close an incoming call. Okay. You have to convert that person into dollars. That call comes in, you convert them into an office visit or you take their credit card over the phone. If you're only able to convert them into an office visit, now you got to convert that office visit into a, here's your credit card. I'm now a paying client of your law firm. This tells you how to do that. Okay. Um, back in the day, I used to promote call Ruby. You click them, this link, you can get a bit of a discount on call Ruby. But even if you work with call Ruby, you have to train call Ruby or whoever answers your phone. You have to train them. Even if they somehow convince you, they know what they're doing. They don't. Whoever's doing it is just sitting there collecting a free paycheck. They don't care if you ever sign another client. And that goes for your own receptionist. That goes for the 22 year old you have answering your phones. They don't care if you ever sign another client. They're just collecting their paycheck for eight hours and they're leaving. You have to train them on how to answer the phone. And somehow you have to make them care whether you convert that person into another client, because the one thing they'd rather be doing is looking at TikTok, not earning their paycheck. And now that someone called, they're upset that they have to stop looking at TikTok and earn their paycheck. You need to be aware of this because you can't fix it if you don't admit that's what's going on with your paying with your employees. All right, what's the minimum that you have to do? <clears throat> Most people answer a phone like this. Phone rings, ring, ring. They pick up the phone and they say, law office. Why do they do that? Because they're lazy, because they don't care if you ever answer a phone call. Every law firm I worked for, the owner of the firm did this. Why did the owner of the firm do this? Because that person has never had any sales training. They think going to law school was going to fix all their problems. They didn't realize they were going to have to earn money when they got out of law school. The world is not going to hand you dollars. You're going to have to conduct a minimum amount of sales here. And what you have to do first is identify yourself. Easiest way to do is say, hello, this is Dustin at the Johnson Law Office. We help clients who are in need of a criminal attorney. How may I help you? It's very simple. Who are you? Who do you help? How do you help them? Every phone call needs to be answered in that manner. You're dealing with someone who's known you for less than a minute. They dialed a number on the internet. They don't know you. You have a minimum amount of time to convince them that you're someone they want to work with. Start everything off right. Hello. This is insert your name here at the insert law office here. We help clients who need this. How can I help you? Who are you? Who do you help? How do you help them? Step two, everybody knows, even people that got a market, a useless marketing degree from college know you have to touch someone three to seven times before they do business with you. So you're going to need a callback number because you're going to have to follow up with this person because most likely you're not going to convert them today. So the next thing you need to do is ask for the best callback number. And as soon as this conversation ends, drop them a text or something. You got to become the lawyer in their life. Step number three, you're going to want to ask for the email address in case the call gets disconnected. Or you say, can I get your email address so I can send you our price sheet, you know, something like that. Cause you want to get in their inbox as well. You need to become the lawyer in their life so that now you're their friend so that they don't price shop you. Cause we don't, 
price shop our friends. We just have them come do work for us. Okay, this article that we're seeing right now explains the whole process. I even have a simple example script you could adjust. Hello, Mr. Sanders. It's Jessica, San Diego DWI lawyer. This is the email you would follow up with immediately. Thanks for the call today. I will call back as soon as court dies down for the day. In the meantime, please check out our frequently asked questions sheet. You need a reason to get their email, right? So you might tell them we have this sheet that we send to every prospective client that touches on frequently asked questions. Okay. Talk to you shortly and please don't hesitate to email me if you have any questions. You might also send them one of your YouTube videos because you need to become a person to them, not just a business. The point is get in their inbox, get in their cell phone and become the lawyer in their life so that they won't price shop you. <laughs> okay, uh, let's see what else, what else? That's it, go over this article, go over the video, <clears throat> And then more importantly, get everybody in your frame to watch this video and the video I'm showing you in the article. Everyone in your law firm needs to realize nobody's calling you to give you their credit card information. They're calling you and now you have to convince them that you care. Everybody, the, the receptionist has to convince them that you care. All right, whoever answers the phone has to convince this complete stranger that you care because there's a million other lawyers out there who will convince them if you don't and they're going to get the money. I'm Dustin Sanchez, DustinSanchezPD.com. If you need help with lawyer marketing, either jump on my email list at DustinSanchezPD.com slash now, that's N-O-W, or drop me an email, go to my website, justinsanchestv.com, and fill out my contact form. We'll get you scheduled for a marketing consult. We'll fix all the problems you have so that you can start paying the dang mortgage on time. Peace out.